Hey everybody, I'm Sean and welcome to another episode of Angling Spiders. Welcome back everybody on today's episode, uh, something a little bit more grand. So for those of you that have been around a while, uh, you will know that in the winter time I did a 24 hours on the ice video, uh, stayed out uh, in my tent overnight on the ice and fished for 24 hours. That is exactly what I'm doing again in the summer. I am doing 24 hours on the water. It's just in the summertime this time. Um, I am not in a tent. I am sleeping in the spider van. So <laughs> maybe I'll show some more of that later in terms of my setup. Um, but I'm also out here to test a couple of things. So uh, first and foremost is that Savage Gear Pike Lure that I was mentioning in previous videos. So let me show you that thing. So here it is. This is what I'm going to be testing out today. Uh, I'm going to see if I can catch anything on a 12 inch swim bait. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use both the 8 inch and 12 inch versions of the Savage Gear today. I'm going to troll the 8 inch version for half an hour and then I'm going to troll the 12 inch version for half an hour. Um, I'm going to switch back and forth. Uh, hopefully I'll catch some fish. I know I can catch some on the on the 8 inch version So it's a real question as to whether I can get some of this. So that's gonna be today I am then also gonna be staying overnight out here and then I'm gonna be fishing again tomorrow morning More than likely this is gonna be a two-parter. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope uh, I catch some fish and <laughs> Appreciate you guys tagging along once again. All right with that Let's get going all right, you guys, it's time to give this thing a try, so I'm going to rig it up now. I did have to buy a new rod for this. Um, for those of you that follow the channel regularly, you know that we typically uh, fish with ultralight or light rods. There's no way I could use a light rod for this thing, so I had to go out and buy a medium-heavy Ugly Stick GX2. Um, I'm going to put this on. I can, I'm can. i still not going to cast this thing. I'm probably just going to troll a little bit and then let line out, just because that thing could easily bust my rod. All right, you guys, I think I had a hit on this massive lure and I might have a fish. And if it is, it is not very big. It's probably the size of the lure. I do have a fish for sure. <laughs> oh, there's a good run. There's a good run. So I have a fish on the uh, 12 inch Savage lure. That is cool. Oh, good, good fight. Okay, maybe it's a little bigger than I thought. It wasn't running before it was coming towards the kayak. Have not seen it yet, but... Uh... Oh, yeah, it's not bad. It's not a bad fish. All right. This is sweet. I'm pretty excited by this, you guys. Pretty excited indeed. I did not know if I was going to get anything on this. Oh, that's, that's a nice fish. That is a good one. All right, somebody's gonna get a lure. I don't know how big this one is. I don't want to lose it. I got it. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> it swam out of the net. No. Oh my goodness, that fish was easily, easily 35 inches, you guys. And I'm not gonna get a measurement. Are you kidding me? In the net and out of the net. Okay, everybody, this is uh, about 30 seconds later. I don't know if it's the same fish, but I got another one. Like the same spot. I, I really just put the, the hook back in the water and started going. Feels like a good one. It feels like it's the same size. <sighs> Roughly the same size. Some good head shakes. There's some line going. Yeah, this is a good one. Another good one. Yeah. Oh, barely hooked again. Barely hooked. Oh, man. Barely, barely, barely hooked. Woohoo! I got this one, and that's not getting away. All right. We've got one in the boat with the Savage Lure uh, 12 inch. Oh man, I was really nervous after I lost that really nice last one. And this is not as big as the last one, you guys. So uh, that last one was, like I said, probably 35 inches, but we got this one. All right, you guys, there it is. First fish I've ever caught on a 12 inch Savage gear. It is definitely not anywhere near as big as the last one. 
That one is a 29 and a half incher, much smaller than the one I caught before. Uh, it took me a bit to get it out of the net, so it was in the net quite a while. So I'm gonna try to get it released here. And there it goes. All right. Well, got over to my spot here. That's two nice fish in a matter of five minutes. Admittedly, I would have rather caught the first one. That would have been my best fish of the year. But we got one on the board. So for those of you that are keeping track and want to win a lure, uh, right now we're sitting at 29 and a half. Um, but I am going to get bigger than that. I'm, I'm confident. So, all right. All right, you guys. Got another one. This feels like a bit better. I don't know, or it's just swimming again, away from me right at the moment. Um, hit like a tank. Feels almost like it's stuck in weeds, but I know there's a fish on there. It is not moving. It's moving my kayak. The wind is really starting to howl out here. I've been bucking the wind, trying to get to shore to take a break and just decided to take my break out here on the water. But uh, yeah, it's really howling. There's a storm brewing. I don't know if you can see the clouds off to the north. This fish has hardly moved. I don't know if I got a better one here, if it's in the weeds. No, it's not in the weeds. Oh, now it's starting to fight. I haven't seen it yet, but I think this is a better one, you guys. I think this might be my biggest of the day. Still on the eight inch swim bait. I think this is a big fish, you guys. Oh yeah, this is a big fish. Oh, I don't want to lose this. I barely saw it. Oh my God, you guys, it's a walleye. It's a trophy walleye. This is my PB walleye and it is massive. It is freaking huge. Oh my God. I'm so excited right now. I can't even tell you guys. This is the biggest walleye I've ever caught in my life. It won't even fit my net. Oh my God. <laughs> Trophy walleye. Oh, oh man. A mammoth walleye. Oh, I'm shaking you guys. I am absolutely shaking. This thing is a tank. Oh, you can tell my excitement. I can't believe it. Massive PB. This thing is huge. Oh, I can't even, I can't even get the hook out. I can't even do anything right now. Oh my gosh, you guys, this thing's so big I can't even get it out of the net. Look at the head on that thing! The head, the gut, look at the size of that walleye! Oh, 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 oh man! Oh, I can't even talk. I am going to get a length first. You guys would not believe the belly on this thing. It is unbelievable. All right, that is a 32 inch walleye, 32 inches. That is unreal and it is thick and fat. That is an 11 pound, oh, I'm still in the water. An 11 pound walleye, oh, oh man. Oh my goodness, look at the thickness of this thing. Look at the head and the thickness on that fish. <sighs> Looks like a bloody grouper. One last look and there she goes. She's gone. Oh my goodness. 11 pound, 32 inch walleye. If this was a tournament, I'd have won it right there. Let's make sure this big girl can swim away. I gotta take her off the grips. Holy man alive. Is that a fish? Is that a fish? Oh, 
There she goes into the depths and gone. The Savage Gear line through pike PB walleye, 11 pounds, 32 inches. You guys can tell my excitement. That is getting it done on a windy day out here and that's why we got the walleye chop. Absolutely unexpected. I am done, I am exhausted. I gotta go in, I don't care about the fishing right now. I gotta get a break, I need to drink some water, I need to get some sunscreen back on. Oh my goodness, I am so glad you guys were here to witness that. What a day. Okay everybody, as you can see, I finally made it to shore. Uh, and uh, gonna take a break here, I'm out of the wind. It is still windy, but uh, there's a, this berm here that's blocking the wind. So it's nice and sheltered. I got my kayak here. You guys can see the water, how nice and clear it is today. Beautiful out here. I'm gonna reapply some sunscreen because it's been a while. I'm gonna hydrate, take a break, and then I'm gonna get back on the water. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put that 12 inch swim bait back on, and then I'm gonna head out onto the lake in a direction I've never been before. So when we come to Badger, we are usually in the Southwest. So what you're seeing here is the Southwest part of the lake. Um, we either fish in the Southwest, the, uh, the, the West side near the campground or the Northwest. Um, we've only been to the Northeast once, caught a couple small ones there and have never been to East, the East side or the Southeast side, which is off in this direction here. So. What I'm gonna do is after this break, I'm going to uh, put on that 12 inch swim bait and I'm gonna go to the Southeast and uh, then head back to the North, which is where I left the van, right at the very North end. So I'll update you more once I get going. Everybody just started fishing again. Just left my rest area spot, which was just up on these rocks ahead here. And apologies for the angle. I'm, I don't realize I'm facing into the sun, but regardless, I got another fish. This is on the 12 inch Savage Gear. So I went back to the big, the big one and uh, picked one up. There's a good run. That's a good run. I have not seen it yet. Oh, there's another good run coming. Good pull. Oh, there we go. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's a good pike. That's a good pike. I think this is my biggest. Definitely my biggest of the day for pike-wise. Obviously not walleye. Oh. Look at the fight here, you guys. I don't think I'm gonna lose this one because it, uh, it's hooked pretty well, but I got it. This is more like the one I caught and lost at the beginning of the day. I would say 33, 34. Nice fish, beautiful fish. All right, you guys, measurement time for those of you wondering about the biggest fish on the Savage gear. That fish is 34 inches. 34 inches. And I will weigh it for those that might have guessed a weight. I'm going to say six and a half pounds. Six point nine pounds which uh, less the grips is 6.6 .6 pounds. So just over six and a half, 6.6 .6 pounder guys, 34 inches, nice looking fish, beautiful. All right, everybody, back at base camp. Uh, that is gonna do it for part one of this two-part uh, series. 
Woo, what a day out there. At least 15 fish, all of them on the Savage Gear line through Pike. Uh, both the 8 inch and the 12 inch, I used them both. Uh, caught some nice fish. Biggest one so far on that 12 inch was a 33 incher. Not done fishing yet, so we'll see if I can top it. Um, also got that trophy walleye. Can't say enough about how awesome that is uh, on the 8 inch line through Pike. So uh, 11 pound walleye, 32 inches, um, amazing. What a great day out here. I am now gonna get set up in the spider van to sleep. Uh, the sun's going down here. It's gonna be down in about 20 minutes. I gotta eat. And uh, so that's next. You guys will see me in the morning where I will be out on the water once again. So if you guys liked part one, I would appreciate it if you smash that like button, hit subscribe. And until next time, everybody, good fishing. Well, sunset out here, as you can see, and here's the spider van, and here's the setup. <laughs> home sweet home for the night. See everybody in the morning.